I don't often use slip knots when tying sutures, but there's been a resurgence of interest among our trainees to uh, to utilize this technique. So I thought I would I would demonstrate a knot that was developed in the 70s by Dr. Clifford Terry to use with his uh, intraoperative Terry keratometer. Uh, this was taught to me in uh, October of 1983 by doctors. Jerry Emery and uh, Doug Koch. Uh, it was published in the uh, Implant Society Journal under the title, The Differentially Adjustable Slide Knot. You can see here, this was a way of uh, cinching down just the right uh, tension here. This is a, a, a cataract procedure that I'm about to do, but I'm first modifying the astigmatism in a patient who's had a uh, a keratoplasty with residual about seven diopters of astigmatism due to a slight uh, a wound dehiscence. Uh, so I'm adjusting this knot to kind of give this patient a more spherical, uh, spherical cornea. Uh, this is a nice way to do it. I'm going to test this again and see that they, uh, uh, this patient needs a little bit of additional adjustment here. It's it's it, it's kind of like uh, uh, tightening lug nuts on your on your uh, 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 the wheel of your car. You can if you put one in a little bit too tight, you can end up making another one too loose. So you've you're chasing your tail just a little bit. But if you can get the astigmatism down to about a diopter and a half, which is what I was able to do in this case, eventually I was able to uh, to improve the uncorrected and the correctable. Uh, vision in this particular patient. So it's a, it's a nice procedure. Uh, my understanding is that this was first uh, demonstrated at a meeting called the Welsh Cataract uh, Congress when uh, Dr. Dick Kratz uh, presented it to a very skeptical Dr. Norm Jaffe. Uh, this, by the way, is a, a, a de-sec de procedure that uh, while uh, while the tissue is attaching, I'm going to go ahead and suture it since I wasn't comfortable leaving this particular patient uh, sutureless. But uh, uh, getting back to the Welsh Cataract Congress, my understanding is that, uh, that uh, Dr. Dick Kratz removed Dr. Jaffe's tie and then tied it around his neck uh, in a fashion that uh, 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 called great attention to this uh, knot. Uh, before uh, hundreds of physicians that were in the audience. So, so this is a nice way of kind of controlling the tension and, um, and uh, uh, leaving these patients with a suture that's not too tight. Here's a, a case that was a dislocated lens in a patient who had radial keratotomy and ended up uh, doing a uh, lens exchange vitrectomy and then leaving a sulcus uh, acrylic three-piece lens uh, here and you can see I'm doing this sliding this knot down into position it's kind of most uh, most valuable in uh, in uh, situations where you've got a, a corneal graft or a DALK procedure that you'd like to adjust the astigmatism in uh, simultaneously so anyway just wanted to uh, share this with you as it brings back a nice bit of history to me as well and thank you